Hey guys, my little collector here, and I'm doing a review on the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comics by IDW. I have comics number 8 through 12. And the thing is, you can't see the others because they're in the back. And I have Micro Comic 9. No, Micro Comic 8. And the cover gallery which I'm gonna show you guys what's in there so number eight uh, I really like this cover that's why I got this one it was like really hard to choose between Luna and uh, Nightmare Rarity but I picked Nightmare Rarity because I love Nightmare Rarity I wish they, they incorporate her in, into season four or something maybe not maybe they won't but I don't know at least we get it in the comics. So yeah. They're in their own covers. Number 8. And it's the end of them. The reason why I don't have the others. Numbers 1 through 7. Is because I read them online. They're digital. The digital copies. So. What's the point of getting the. Uh, I didn't want to like spend time. Searching for numbers 1 through 7. Especially the Chrysalis changing story arc. So this is, this is the last one of the Nightmare Rarity story arc. But I read them. I, I caught up with them before I got this one. So yeah. Please don't tell me what I did and not getting the other ones. It's just that I have read the digital copies. This is number 9. And 10. Number 9 is the Big Mac story arc where he's just looking for nails to fix the cathedral and it's the time of the uh, what do you call it fall wrap up I think I think it's the fall wrap up it's like it's been a while since I read this definitely um but I like this cover of the night yeah I like this one but I really wanted the one where he's carrying the baby cake, but then now uh, she's on mine and I'll show you why in a little bit. This is uh, part one. This one's part two. And I wanted the main cover because you know it's got all the secondary characters. Of course, fine. Want to make something of it? <laughs> I like the art by Andy Price. I realized that, uh, that, um, he uses like, these markers, but of course, fortunately, I can't afford those markers yet. Once I get a career, I can probably afford those markers. I don't think he did this one, though. This cover. I think it was the other cover. Um, I don't really know. Um, I think it's in the cover gallery, officially. Yeah, this is part two. Um, let's just see. Uh, Big Mac gets kissed by Luna. I'm like, I'm really skipping that. Like, Luna and Big Mac. Whole point. Like, they incorporate that in the show or something. I don't know. I think they did. Fan head. <laughs> this is the Cadence Shining Armor story arc of Hobby Met. This is numbers 11 through 12. This is part one. This is. Shining Armor's story, like the Bobby Man, this is part one. Cover again, I think it's by Price. Yeah, it's by Price. Me Price. I follow him on DeviantArt, so I know what covers are coming. Lyra, Golden Grave, Stumble Seed, Metal Song, Foreign. I don't know. Weak grass. I don't know who that person is. Minette. Some minuet. I don't know. Sweet screen scoops. Thunder Lane. Some dude wearing a Batman shirt. Some girl wearing a Star Wars shirt. I don't know who that is. Of course, Shining Armor. Cheerleading. Moon Dancer. And Prince 
is no more evidential or is not here and so it's just an old classic cassette If Soren's in this, that means Soren is older than Rainbow Dash. And and for those people who ship Soren and Rainbow Dash together, that's kinda gross. Because he's into younger women, I guess. Um I was really, really upset with number twelve. Which is part two. Mm. Sorry, I let the doorbell ring. So I was saying, I was really upset. Um, not because the story, it's because of the cover that I got. Um, anyways, before I get into that part two, this is Caves inside, and it's really, really cute. And I love Celestia's face on one of the pages. <laughs> it's really funny. Th this one is like adorable. I love the story of how they met. I can't. I'm glad they explained it. Didn't leave us in the loop. As so much as this cover being adorable, I really wanted the other, other cover with Shining Armor in the school hallway. But this is the only one they had, like literally this was the last one. And they ran out of the My Little Pony annual with the Equestria Girls and Sensation Restorer. So I'm probably going to end up reading that online. <sighs> Bronies, you never leave anything for anybody. So yeah. On to this one. This is the micro comic featuring Celestia and it's really cool. It explains the story of the uh, of the school for gifted unicorns. You know the one Twilight went to and whatnot. Kind of has some Harry Potter references in there. So yeah. And I think they make an Alvin and Chipmunks reference. I don't know. I don't know really. Oh yeah. And there's a Powerpuff Girls comic that I don't buy, but I read in the comic book store. So yeah, this is the cover gallery. This is number one, and I got it because my dad said to get it. I was like, okay. And the cover is like nice quality, and this is all glittery. Same the back. Cover to cover ponies in this special cover gallery. Many beloved, rare, hard to find, and fan favorite by Milo Pony. My Little Pony covers are collected here in this 32 page art extravaganza. So yeah, let's go. And the covers in, on this cover are in this book. So yeah. Of course, that's number 10 right there. Andy Price, Sarah Richard. I like her art, artwork. Um, Amy Medrison kind of adorable um sabrina alberghetti hope i said it right that's cute and i love this one andy price of course tony flex i hope i'm saying these right another sarah richard stephanie rusema rusema I, I don't know how to say that right um agnes Garbowska. The both of them are made by her. It's cute. I love Metal Gear Twilight. Um, AB Memberson. The both of them. This is this is my favorite cover. Andy Price is this one. Sarah Richard is this one. That's fabulous. Look at Opal up. Look at Opal. A.B. Meperson, again, in the Snow White-esque Fluttershy cover, and again here with Pinkie Pie. That was for her micro-comic. And again, I read their micro-comics too, so that's what I don't have the other one. Um, ben, ben Bates, I guess. I guess he did the exclusive ones, and Tony Flex did the convention exclusive one too. This one's cute. And in Equestria Girl, she does the Transformers noise when she describes what nervous size it is. That was adorable. See, this is the other one. That's why I changed my mind. I didn't get upset when I got uh, the Nightmare Rarity cover because I got this and I got my two favorite covers. Yay! This is like my favorite favorite. 
and the rarity is like my top eight. This is AB Medicine and this is Andy Price. So far, those are my two favorite artists, AB Medicine and Andy Price. Andy Price being first. That's a lot of talent. Like, just envy, guilty, forever alone, anger, hatred, greed, pride. Poor Bruna. I guess that's why she's fan favorite. Like, she's my best friend. I really don't like her. But now after watching Christian Girls, maybe I don't. This one's Aiden Medicine, and this one's Brenda Hickey. Um, this, that's for the Applejack Micro Series. And this is for the Applejack Micro Series 2. This is Tony Flex. Or Flex. I, don't, I really don't know how to pronounce his last name. And of course, Andy Price again. But I think he did this digitally enough with markers. Because it looks like every other page. Hmm. Back to page 32. I didn't mind getting this one there, so I saw this in here. This is Aiden Emerson. This one's adorable. Skittle and baby cakes. And Tony Flex. I really like this one too. This is like cute. With Shirley and Big Mac. Aiden Emerson again. All the vinyl and Octavia. <laughs> And this is even Mason. I really don't like the vinyl's outfit. It makes it look weird, but everybody else looks fine. I guess it's a gala outfit. And Sarah Richards. She makes them look so adorable. Like, look at Scooter and the other thing. Please don't. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then Amy Menace again. And that's it. That's uh, all of them. I can't wait for number two. Okay. That is in on my comic. I don't know. Comic number 13 is coming out soon. It's supposed to be about Tumblr. Yeah, so if you've heard of Pirate Dash Tumblr, they look kind of like pretty excited. <laughs> so yeah, uh, bye. See you later and peace out.